Did we decide to renovate? Or did we replace it? We, we replaced, replaced it. it. Hey guys, <laughs> we decided to go ahead and replace our awesome Class C RV that we had many years of memories in. Absolutely. With a brand new Thor Challenger model number 37FH. Right, now you may have seen our video where we did the tour of the Class C and we were deliberating whether we wanted to renovate or replace it. Um, it, it was a little cramped and it needed a little, you know, up to date uh, features to it. And we truly appreciate all the support that we got from you guys. We got great advice. We really did. Great tips, yep. great support. Uh, some of you said, you know what, no matter what you do, you're going to have great memories in your next RV or if you renovate it. And you're right. That's what it's all about, making great memories. Yeah. And I would say it was kind of a, probably a 60-40 split, right? Yeah. Most, I think more people wanted us to replace it. Most people <laughs> wanted us to go ahead and replace it. So we'd have more of the modern features that right. a brand new RV would have. Yeah. Um, and if we spent a bunch of time and money right. renovating our yeah. Class C, we would have been off the road yeah. for quite a, some time. Right. It would have been risky. It would have, because we would have ended up with kind of a renovated 14-year-old motorhome. Yeah. Right. So now we have all the brand new features, all the brand new, you know, solar, electronics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and under warranty. All, yeah, all under warranty, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and this will be much more suitable for us right. because we'll be traveling a lot more yes. in the coming years. And we'll be towing our Jeep. Yep. And so this is perfect for that. This right. thing can tow up to 8,000 pounds. It'll definitely be able to handle pulling our Jeep behind us. Right. So there's a whole lot of really great benefits and reasons why we went yes. ahead and and got ourselves the new Class A RV. As you know, we live in Maryland. We're very, very fortunate that we have a home base here. Right. But while we're camping, we also want to have a nice home away from home and a good right. home base where we are, wherever we are in the country. Right. And then we've got the Jeep to go roam around and see things and do things. Right. So, uh, so we're super excited. Yes. We want to take you guys. Yeah, you want to check it out. Inside and show you the whole <laughs> RV. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started on that. Right. We did, however, shoot video already in the storage compartments. We did. And so listen, <laughs> don't judge me. We're going to, we do, we cover the storage compartments towards the end of the video. There's right. a ton of storage right. in this thing, but we're literally transitioning from the class yes. C to the class A. So yeah. I've just been throwing stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, and it looks like it. And it's a mess. So yeah. don't judge, you yeah. know, Be but gentle. <laughs> just, you know, anyway, let's get started and check it out on the inside. When you first walk into this RV on the right hand side, you'll notice the driver's cab area. Then as we swing on around, we have two theater seats. Of course, we have our dinette next to that. Across from all that, we have the kitchen area and entertainment center. Just next to me here is the mid bath. And then behind me is the owner's bedroom and bathroom. One other great feature that we really like about up front here are that our captain's chairs swivel all the way around. So um, we can use this area as part of the living room in the coach. And that brings me to a whole nother topic, which is one of the reasons we like this floor plan so much is because the living room area is the living room area. There's not a dinette in the living room or theater chairs in the kitchen. They have it very, very well organized. So these captain's chairs, instead of if your kitchen was forward and the captain's chairs being part of the kitchen, Ours are actually part of the living room area, which includes the theater seating and the fireplace and the televator and all that good stuff. So it just made really great sense to us the way this was all laid out. Now, as we move on back through the coach, brings us to the theater seating. And these, these chairs are pretty darn comfortable. They're not perfect, but you know, we can certainly relax, kick back, watch TV. We've got the fireplace going in front of us. Just a really great setup. We have a couple of cup holders here, and then this section pops up, and all of our remote controls are in there, and there are a whole bunch of <laughs> remotes. We have so much to learn, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Every day we're in here, we learn something new. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then behind these seats, there's even some additional storage back there. You can see this one cushion. That's actually needed when you convert the dinette into another bed but we can store uh, magazines or books or additional items behind us here. Right across from here, 
is where the fireplace is located. We have plenty of storage under here as well to put DVDs. We have our CD player under here as well. And then of course we have a televator that rises on up and we can very comfortably enjoy TV from our theater seating or even from the captain's chairs in the front of the cab. Over the driver's cab, we have this awesome queen-sized overhead bunk that electronically comes down over top of the driver's seats. You'll notice that it has mesh netting on three sides, so when our grandson's sleeping up there, he won't roll out by mistake. There's also a really cool ladder that we can attach so he can climb right on up there and hop on into bed. So another super important feature to us when we decided to choose this particular model was the fact that it's got opposing slides. And what that means is there's a slide out on this side of the coach and a slide out on that side of the coach and it just makes it feel huge inside of here. Normally it's eight feet wide. We have a three foot slide on this side and a two foot on the other. So we get to 13 feet wide in here and it just feels really really big the dinette area is super super comfortable here's the trick with our dinette area that i really really like and that is these back cushions because when susan and i sit here and drink coffee in the morning i don't sit like a normal person i've got to sit you know with my legs up here stretched out and i can lean against the cushion behind me and it's just perfect and susan does the same thing and so um it's, it's these little cushions on the back just make all the difference for us anyway. Now above us here, we have additional storage cabinetry. We also have a couple of puck lights that line, light up the dinette really well. The table does drop down so that you can make another bed here also. And then there are a couple of storage drawers underneath of the dinette on both sides that slide on out. So we have additional storage underneath of our dinette booths. So we also have the shades drawn, but I just want to show you the shades in here are really nice. You just give them a little pull and let it go and they automatically rise up into place. Now these shades are great because they are light blocking shades, so it stays nice and dark in here. But then we also have, you know, just sort of more of a, a daytime shade or um, a way to just keep people from being able to see in here very easily, but we can also enjoy the light. So just across from the dinette is our kitchen area. And if you've seen our other videos, you guys know that I really love what's called an inline kitchen. And all that means is that everything in the kitchen is in one line from the refrigerator to the cooktop, to the oven, to the sink, boom, all right here. Very efficient as far as we're concerned. Now, starting in the kitchen area, we've got plenty of storage area up top here for all of our plates and dishes and cups and bowls and all that stuff. We're not fully stocked yet. We're still kind of bringing things from the class C into the class A and all that good stuff. Susan is loving life, <laughs> getting this baby stocked. My wallet is not. Um, <laughs> we have a nice convection style microwave here. And yes, uh, we've already made our first pizza in there. So there you go. Down below here, we have two burners for uh, propane. One is larger than the other. So you can put you know different size burner on here. We also have an induction cooktop as well so we made sure to buy pots and pans that can either be used on fire or they also work on induction cooktops um, then we have our sink area now we have the sink covers in place and this gives us a lot of countertop space and a lot of times we just pull out one half of the kitchen sink covers so that we maintain this kitchen countertop or we can pull them both out and we have a nice big double bowl sink. And then of course we have a big gooseneck faucet with a sprayer. Just below the kitchen sink area, we have lots of storage under here. We have our trash can and an extra dish drain and that kind of stuff. And then next to that, plenty of uh, drawer space. Susan's got her drawer organizers in here. Now, one thing I wanna point out is the lights that go underneath of the kitchen countertop. Now. Every time I've seen these in the past, I always thought, well, that's cool. It's like accent lighting or mood lighting. And very often in the evening time, that's how we use it. We'll turn off all the lights in the coach, except we'll leave these on maybe when we're watching TV or sitting in front of the fireplace. But one really great advantage of them that we just discovered is that with this lighting under here, you can open these drawers and the drawers are lit up by this light. So it's really, really a great feature that we're now happy to take advantage of <laughs> in our brand new Class A. Underneath here, we have all of our pots and pans. Got my George Foreman grill under there. 
that's a must have. Here's our new pots and pans that we bought that work on either a propane burner or the induction cooktop. So we're all set there. Then right next to that, we've got our residential style refrigerator. It's, I call it that because it's just so huge. Double door, big refrigerator, big freezer. This runs on either battery or shore power and uh, it gets cold extremely fast. I mean, it's really, really terrific as far as that goes. So uh, we're very happy we about that. And we have an ice maker and water dispenser. We do, we do. We have an ice maker <laughs> and water dispenser. We've never had that before. So yeah, this is pretty cool. really terrific. Now, right next to our fridge, we have this very large pantry area. And inside here, we have a couple of fixed shelves and also a couple of drawers that slide on out, which makes things really convenient and easy to get to. So here I am inside the mid bath, and this is right in the middle of the coach, right off the kitchen. Um, Susan thought this was a super important thing for her to have in a coach. <laughs> I, I wanted one and a half baths. She wanted one and a half baths. Yeah. So that's what we got. And uh, if people come over to visit or they're camping with us, they can use this bathroom. Or when it, you shower, I can come in here and do my makeup, do my hair. There you go. So we have lots yeah. of reasons why the mid bath is so important. And I didn't think it was, but it's actually turned out to be very, very convenient. Uh, there's a lot of storage space in here as well. It's got a full medicine cabinet over top and then plenty of storage cabinetry in here. And then when you're sitting on the commode in here, uh, plenty of room for the elbow tests, lots of room in here, and it's just a great mid-sized bathroom. Oh, show them how the door opens and closes. Oh, just go like that. So we have barn doors on them. Very nice, I like the barn doors because they save a lot of space rather than a swinging door. Um, and they really do stay in place very well while we're driving down the road too. So here I am in our bedroom and we have a really nice big king size bed. It's probably too much bed for Susan and I, but no, it's not. We are totally enjoying <laughs> it. <laughs> the mattress is super, super comfortable. We actually bought a four inch foam mattress and even put it on top of the mattress that's in here. So we are super, super comfy at night. Now you'll notice over top, we have additional storage for all of our clothes. We have puck lights underneath of the cabinet so we can lay in bed and read at night. We also have a tilt of view bed here. And so I can, with the click of a button, raise the bed up so that we can easily watch TV. Now on each side of the bed, there is a small little nightstand and each nightstand also has USB ports and there's also an electrical outlet underneath. So if you do have a CPAP or things like that and you wanted an RV like this, you could plug things in. We plug our electric blanket in and that way we stay nice and warm and toasty without having to heat the whole camper overnight. Uh, one other thing that's really nice to note is underneath there is additional drawer space as well. We keep like extra slippers and shoes and stuff like that under there. Now, the coach has two air conditioners. One of them is right here in the ceiling. And the way this works is you can open and close these. If, if they're in the closed position, then the air conditioning comes out of the four vents that are back here. And when it's in the open position, it just dumps cold air right into the room. So depending on how hot it is, it is outside, we can use either method to cool the room. Now directly across, we have our TV location and it's in the perfect spot to be able to lay in bed and watch TV in the evening if we would like to do that. One cool feature is this will raise up and then we have additional storage space behind here as well. Again, we haven't filled up every cabinet yet. It is Susan's goal to do that, <laughs> not mine. I, I'm perfectly fine having some emp empty cabinet <laughs> space in here. You'll thank me. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. We have a little vanity set up here with USBs and electrical receptacles, and then we have plenty of drawer space down below that as well. Next to that, we've got our wardrobe cabinet, which is mirrored, which is fantastic. We can take a look at it ourselves and see if we're together or not for a YouTube video. And then of course you can see inside there's plenty of room. It's got a hanging bar, plenty of room for storage. And down below the wardrobe cabinet, we have four nice big drawers down here for plenty of storage. And then finally we have our stackable washer and dryer unit in here. And since we're gonna be on the road almost all the time from now on, we decided we had to have a washer and dryer on board just to make life a little more convenient and easy for us. So here I am inside of our shower and this 
Although it's not the biggest bathroom in the world, it's very, very adequate for us. It's so um, much bigger than the sea. <laughs> oh, way, 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 way bigger than the sea. Right. It's not like the monstrosity that you see in some of those diesel Class A pushers where it's like a marble bathroom. And, you right. know, we don't, we spend 10 minutes in here, so it's not a big deal to us. We just um, needed elbow room. Yeah, but the ba the shower in here is a great size. It's got a shower door instead of a curtain, which you guys know that I love. So I can close the shower door, easily take a shower without the curtain stuck to the side of me. Uh, we have several corner shelves in here. And I will tell you this, this RV drives so smooth, I actually left my razor in here on the corner shelf. And we drove like three and a half hours and it never fell off the corner shelf. And here we are all the way in the back of the RV. So. I think that speaks to how smooth of a ride this particular coach is. Anyway, as far as headroom goes, there I'm 5'11", as you guys know. There is at least a foot over top of my head into this skylight in here. So you could be seven feet tall probably and take a shower in here, no problem at all. So right across from the shower on the other end of the bathroom is where the vanity location is. And we are just so impressed with all of the storage space in here. I mean, we've got this gigantic medicine cabinet with plenty of shelving in there, a nice big corner cabinet with additional shelving there. We have tons of countertop space in here next to our sink. And then down below, we have storage under the sink and three drawers for additional storage. Over top of me here, along the back wall of the coach, we have three more cabinets. I don't even know what the heck we're gonna put in there yet. Susan will figure that out. And then of course, when you're sitting on the commode in here, you know, the elbow test on the left side doesn't quite work. If the door's open, you can get your elbow out. And on the right hand side, I mean, there's just plenty of room, but it never feels like you're crowded at all when you're in this bathroom. So here we are outside of our coach on the passenger side. And as the first thing you'll notice is we have a nice outdoor uh, TV out here so we can sit outside, relax, never miss a football game, go Ravens. But you'll notice that this slide goes almost the whole entire length of the coach. It bumps out our kitchen area, our living room entertainment area, and even our bedroom area all bump out with this giant slide out. And then of course we have a nice big awning over top that goes almost the whole length of the slide out as well. And there's even a separate awning just covers over top of the entry door. Here I am on the driver's side of the coach and I mean, this thing is just enormous. It's a whole lot different driving this than it is driving our old Class C RV. Anyway, we have two more slide outs on this side of the coach. The first one here slides out about three feet, and this includes our theater chairs and dinette area inside. And then as we move on down the coach, you'll notice our master bedroom. Uh, the bed slides on out in this back slide out. So one of the biggest surprises to us was the amount of storage space that we now have in our Class A RV. This is another big, big reason that we bought it. And the storage in here is just immense. I mean, we have this first compartment. I know it looks like a mess right now. We're transferring things from <laughs> our C to do my organizing. into our A. But in this first compartment, it goes all the way through to the other side. In addition to that, we store our ladder under here for our bunks. I even have a pole under here that I can use to clean the front windshield and you know stuff like that going on, but there is just tons of storage space. Next to that, even more storage space. Mm. Again, all junked up. Susan really has to be better mm. at organizing mm. this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is where all of our chairs and things That's go. But again, this goes through to the other side, so we can store longer items from side to side. It's eight feet across, so there's plenty of room. This is where our water tank is located. Nice big 80 gallon water tank. And then beyond that, more storage space, which also goes all the way through. Got this little storage space here, which I haven't even put anything in yet. So mm. there's a spot for you, honey. Okay. And then finally, more storage back here. One really cool thing we just discovered, I didn't even know we had this, but there's these little drawers that like tuck up and under the gray and the black tanks and they're sort of built on an angle. They need to be put together a little better and sanded down, but we've got these drawers that slide underneath the tanks for even more storage in here. So on the driver's side of the RV, we have all of our tanks and water hookups and electric and all that stuff. Now back here, we have uh, 
the gray and black tank releases for the back bathroom and everything goes through the bottom of the RV so I can keep all of our container, container doors shut. You'll also notice that we have a setup here so we can flush our tanks without having to use the Rhino Blaster, which we've talked about in so many of our other videos, which in our Class C was perfect because it's older. It didn't have a tank flush, so we had to use the Rhino Blaster to be able to flush our tanks and maintain them. But now with a newer RV, we've got these built in, so that makes life a whole lot easier too. The next compartment down is where all of our electrical stuff is. So our main electric cord comes out through the bottom. I also keep an extra reel of extension cord in here, 100 feet. I've got my dog bone, all my different connectors, and our cable TV line is also connected in there all the time. All I have to do is pull it out from underneath and I can connect to the pedestal very, very easily. And in this compartment is our propane tank that holds about 25 gallons of propane. Then we have our uh, hookups for the mid bathroom. We have a gray and black tank here where the kitchen and mid bathroom all drain into. And then we have our water hookup here. So we can set things up so that we're on city water or if we're boondocking or dry camping, we can set that up. We have a tank fill. And then if we wanna winter winterize or sanitize, we have another station here. And all you do is turn this valve it's very easy to turn it all around. And then for the water heater, we have it on normal. We can bypass it. And then, of course, we have sanitize or winterize. Our and I tank. like that we have the outdoor shower. Yes, this is great, too. Uh, so you can turn things on and off. It, it, we like to beach camp, so this is perfect. We can wash things off. Mm -hmm. um, and if you, you have clean a them pet, up. Yeah, if you have it a pet. has hot and cold. Yep. So, you know, it would be perfect for that. Or yep. if you have to wash off like bicycle gear. Yeah. You know. Or Susan, we could always You're right. rinse you, you know, off. You might out have here. to hose me off before I go in. <laughs> and then we have our water filter out here as well. So everything's in one spot, very easy to get to. And then we just have more storage with our generator under here. And then I've got some of my fly fishing gear up top here, extra hoses, all that kind of stuff. And then we have more storage. All of our sewer gear goes in there. Now you'll notice- It's a mess right now. It's a mess. But I don't put any of my freshwater hoses or freshwater gear into the same compartment as my septic gear. This is only for septic stuff and it'll stay that way. That way we keep things separated, no cross contamination. Sanitized. Yeah. No E. coli. <laughs> Absolutely. Then uh, this compartment I use as my tool compartment. I've got a couple toolboxes, my drill gun. That one looks a lot nicer, hun. Yeah. Well, that's my personal compartment. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then finally, we have our battery and all of that good stuff. Hey, guys, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit the notification bell that you, when you do. So you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. Right, so you can check out some more RV tours and reviews that we do and follow our journey in our Class A motorhome. Thanks a bunch for watching and we will see, see you, you next time. time.